Hello, everybody. My name is Miss Rary, and I am back in the Talos Principle. So, I finished that one really stupid L puzzle in World 1, so now we can do the rest of World 2 because they require fans. And I can get the fan. And I'm really, really excited to see what this does. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I don't know. Because it feels like as long as these things... Okay, I'm wrong. Because I... Yeah, they kind of have to fit just there. So now I'm wrong. Bam! Oh, that's right. Cool! Still nothing to say, okay. Fan. Man on moon. Okay. Take fan. And attach fan, okay. Do I have like boxes? I do. Box. What does this do exactly? Oh, see, I knew it. It jumps me. Okay. Yep. Gonna be a bitch about it. Okay. Drop it there. There you go. Shit. Nope. Double shit. How am I supposed to do this? God damn, I have to reset. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, I have a fan. And I have... Have weight to it? Yes! Ah. So I wasn't that far off. Whee! This is fun. I like this. I have a fan. <laughs> Uplifted, I am. Because that was fun. And super easy. Were you here before? I don't think you were. Milton Library Assistant done. Hello again, I've been checking your responses against library archives and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? distinct difference, but with my answers I have here, trees are technically alive, but the pebble is old. 
boulder, technically, because it's been, it was a rock and then it got worn down into sand, or it's a pebble turning into sand or something. A tree? Not necessarily. Like a newborn pine can just be like a little tiny inch high, and it could be lighter than a pebble. Huh. I mean, I know there's no wrong answers here, but... Damn, I need to be high for this. I'm gonna say a tree's alive, because this isn't necessarily true, and that's not necessarily true. In my opinion. Good. Now, what is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? Trees can be green. I don't believe that's true. I mean, there are some conscious plants. If you look up a documentary, they'll show you, like, this one plant that's in the rainforest. That if you, like, watch it with, like, a, one of those, like, slow-lapse cameras or whatever, it'll actually, like, walk around to find plants that it can attach itself to. It's really cool. You should try to look it up. I don't know what the name of it is, though. Sorry. Frog. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I'm not a person. I'm a robot. I'm a robot with feelings. Frogs have feelings. And frogs are self-aware. Frogs are people, too. <laughs> I'm rational. Eh, I mean... This obviously doesn't know me very well, but thinks I'm rational. Mm. I, we would only think that the animal is irrational because we're not in its situation. And we've been able, as, we as humans, or people, have this distinct ability to try to figure out more than one solution to a problem. And to us, whatever an animal does, it's rational to that animal, but that doesn't mean, like, it's wrong. We're not- I don't know what I'm talking about. Like I said, I need to be high for this. Frogs have feelings. Frogs are people. I'm too self-aware. That was the answer I'd be cont contemplating as well. Check these approved. Um, though I'm not convinced that view lines up with the definition of a person you provided earlier. Still, doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear. It's, in it's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you are adapting to your ideas of your environment. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. One, a person must be rational or self-aware. And two, a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? And can you rationalize your existence? So, yes. Of course. I didn't say of course, I just said yes. I tend to agree with you, though your response so far have been your your responses so far have been a little eccentric. I'm resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness in your opinion? I don't know, man. Don't ask me that. I'm not the person to be asked that. But this is what separates us from- Nope. It's what it is to- Consciousness is what it is like to be me. That- I have to go through a couple of times before that makes sense. Far outside my area of expertise is feelings and senses. That's not entirely true. I can feel and sense a lot of things when I'm asleep, and that's technically an unconscious state. So that's, like, soof for far of my expertise. Harley answers this question, what is an ordinary- what it- what is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Ah, uh, Made of neurons, consciousness is another word for the soul. It's a complex functional system. It's beyond the laws of physics. There's nothing to- I mean- Technically, because it has nothing to do with physics. I don't like that. These two are like complete opposites of each other, but I kind of agree with both of them. Complex functional system. I guess. Damn, this thing. 
You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through a certification program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to my conclusion. Terminating support session done. Wait, lost science magic. I already did this. Let's just get this last puzzle over with. I did not set my timer. Shit. Mm, one second. Damn it. Well, I mean, sure. Okay, I have a fan and a connector in this one, right? I have to check. A box and a connector. Okay. Moonshot. I like how everything to do with fans has to do with moons. It will not go through that. So. Rude. Wait, where'd it go? Where did it go? Piece of shit, and I fucking hate you. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Why? Why? Why didn't you guys tell me earlier? You need to tell me these things. That works. Dear God, I am so stupid. What the hell is that? I get to climb stuff later? I... Guys. Guys. Why? I finished those. So we're done with world two. Yay. Let's wait and see if smart guy has anything to say first. Nothing? Yet nothing for me. <sighs> Wait a minute. How many worlds does this have? Two. I have to go to world three now, which is where? Two, three. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna leave that for the next episode. I think I've done enough here. I just, I just feel stupid now. So, thank you all so much for watching. I very, very much appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next video. Have a wonderful life.